Cutting out hair in general is something that is never easy. And whether you're using Photoshop or Affinity, there are a ton of different ways to do it. But in this video, I'm gonna focus on Canva's AI Select Subject, which is a feature that I use a lot in Photoshop, and I'm probably gonna use it a lot here as well. So what I'm gonna do is switch over to the Canva AI Studio. And if you don't see it, click here and you can turn it on. Now this feature is behind a Canva Pro subscription. So if you don't want that, I get it. But regardless, the Select Subject option is over here. So if we go ahead and click this and give Affinity a minute, well, it doesn't seem to want to do anything. Let's try clicking the image. Ah, oh, there we go. My bad. <laughs> so Affinity is going to do its thing. And now we have a selection. I'm going to go back to my Pixel Studio, make sure that I select my subject layer and then add a layer mask. Command or Control D to deselect. And uh, well, she's lost her body, which is unfortunate. So what I'm going to do is use the brush tool with white just to brush that back in there we go don't you worry you're welcome and for one click this is a pretty good start but of course we got to do something about that so what we can do now is right click on the layer mask and go to refine mask and we can change the preview from the drop down so we can look at this against a black background or a white background. And it's important to test both because as you can see here, the hair definitely looks worse on a white background than it does black. Now, first of all, we have the option here, matte edges. Having this checked kind of softens the edge a bit. And this is good for hair and fur. But if you've got something that's a bit more like a product, for example, you might want to turn this off to get some slightly crisper edges. The border width controls how much is captured in the selection and you can adjust this and you'll see the result generate. Let's go and put that back at 10% there just before I break everything. Smoothing, now this will smooth out the selection or the refinement of the hair. So we could, well, we could bump this all the way up and you can see it <laughs> does something like that. So I'm gonna use this very, very cautiously maybe just to smooth some of it out and get rid of some of that aliasing, those jagged edges. But this option is more about smoothing the path, if you like, whereas feather here, this will quite literally soften the edges. So again, if we crank it up, <laughs> it looks ridiculous, but just bringing it up a little bit can help soften the edges and make the strands of hair look a bit more realistic. Ramp, now this is gonna shift where the edge is. So if we bring it down, it's going to more aggressively cut into the subject. And if we bring it up, it's probably going to keep a bit too much of the background here. So again, this is another feature that you might want to use uh, very slowly, slowly and cautiously. But I'm going to leave mine here for now. And uh, let's have another look against a black matte background. Yeah, it looks pretty good. There's another setting as well that's definitely worth looking at. So if we change this back to overlay, what we can do is go and check the option here, color decontamination. And what this does, if I click it, it's probably easier to show you against a white background. There you go. You can see we have lots of gray that's like attached itself to the strands of hair. And by checking color decontamination, we get a much more natural color around the edges. So you can see it looks less gray now, and we've got a lot more blonde, even on some of those individual strands. Now that we've checked that, we get the option to output to a new decontaminated layer. I want a layer mask as well, so I have as much flexibility as possible. And when you're in this mode, by the way, you do have access to the adjustment brush and you've got lots of settings here. You can adjust things like the brush size. And if you want to go around and refine your selection even more, you can do. I probably made that worse then, but never mind. Let's go ahead and click apply. And what it does is it outputs a brand new layer with a layer mask and then it hides the other one. So we have the original here, which is great. And we've got our new layer here. Let's call it new hair, yay. And as you can see, I've got a background behind. Here's one I prepared earlier. And the thing I love about the whole one click select subject, refine and mask is it's great for just working at speed. Now, obviously I would need to go and spend a lot longer refining all the hair and that is an entire video in itself, adjusting the mask, maybe even drawing new hairs, like it's a lot of work. But for a quick result, or if you wanna just give yourself a really good head start, this technique and this feature is very useful indeed.